Good morning, welcome to Jojo Fitness with me, Jo. It might not be morning where you are, but it's definitely good morning here. Sun's going to rise, hopefully, as we do this. It is raining, so I hope you can hear me. We're going to be doing today a Tabata workout, but we're going to be doing it with the eight body parts. So it's a bit of a hybrid of two different kinds of exercise. I hope you do enjoy it. If you do, please like, share, subscribe, hit that bell. Let me know you've been watching, but let's get on with it. We want to work out. So getting in to our warm-up, start with those shoulder rolls. And then let's just wrap through the waist. Oh. Lovely. And then just kick up those heels. So with Tabata, it's like 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off and you do that three like eight times so you can use weights if you want them um, or you can use body weight resistance and just do it so it might be a case of picking up some weights first go and seeing how it feels and then if that's not great dropping them down in your 10 second rest okay so just take a big stretch up reach away we're going to start off with our first interval which is going to be legs so into squats so grabbing them and just rep it out but just be careful of the knees just because you know there's a tendency to bounce and snap so still think about form three two one pause for 10 seconds so the kind of the body thinks it's moving, then you trick it because you're not. So be as still as possible. And then we're going again. Let's go. Moving. And that's basically it. So the variation can come in here in so much as you could do different squats. So I'm doing wide, weighted wide, but you could do staggered, you could do narrow, you could do no weight to hold. Breathe again, take that 10. I'm hot already, I'm gonna to have to take my sweater off. I've only just started. Okay, ready? And again, 20 seconds. So every time the body thinks it knows what's going on, we change what we're doing and give it a bit of a trickery. And this is when it keeps it guessing. Okay, pause. Just breathe long and slow and deep. And go again. All right, pause. Long, slow, deep breaths. Just try and counteract the movement. So it's that real contrast and then go again. Straight in. We can, of course, manipulate the intervals. You can do pause. You can do more working, less wait, waiting. You can do more of both, less of both. Um, it really is up to you. All right, let's go. We've got to be getting towards the end of the eight. I haven't counted, <laughs> but hopefully <laughs> we're getting up there. Again, just thinking about those bodies and those movements, good clean movements. Pause here. breath oh. all right go again and 
and pause. Okay, I think there's one more to go. I'm not sure. And then we move on to another body part. Let's go down and up. So I haven't changed my squat throughout, but you can. I've just stayed. I've just realized as well, I do have a bruise on the top of my leg and I've just realized this is probably where it's come from. Pause and hold, pressing the, the weights into my legs. So that should be it. Keep hold of the weights for a moment. And then you've got 30 seconds rest. So grab some water, make yourself comfortable. The next exercise we're gonna be doing is press ups. If you can't do press ups, you can do box press, um, or you can turn over, pop your weight on your body, and you can do chest press. Just making sure you can see the ground. Come on down, 20 seconds. Again, you're looking for continual movement of your choice, followed by stillness. Okay, pause. And go in again. So do whatever press ups you can, just try and keep everything continuous for that 20 seconds. And pause. So I've continued, continue, I've deliberately picked some of the exercises that we don't do in the other classes, the more body weight resistance stuff we go, um, so that we don't need equipment for them. Um, but there are some that do. But you know, if you need to have heavier weights, you could always grab bigger tins or stuff you've got around the house. Ooh, feeling this. And I don't worry about three sets in. Oh. All right, take a break. So just remembering you can change. Um, you can come to chest press if you need to. You can, anything chest, you could do flies. Oh. Getting ready, three, two, one, let's go. We'll slow it down a little bit. Again, be careful not to snap through the elbows. Be mindful of your wrists. Obviously, if you're on hands and knees, you need to um, pause. Um, you know, because your knees hurt and that's fine. Okay, um, take a break. Somehow, I've got all twisted up. <sighs> Okay, three, two, one, let's go. Oh, some of these intervals feel longer than the others. I'm not sure if I've messed up my timer. It does happen. Oh. All right, pause. Three more to go. So if you need to change what you're doing, change what you're doing. And we go again, come on. And pause. Oh, my arms, my chest really feeling it just two more to go all right let's take it penultimate one and pause 
Hopefully this is the last one. <sighs> All right, three, two, one, let's go. Oh no, that was the last one. Oh, how lovely, what a reward. Okay, just take a quick stretch. Take the arms around behind, just stretch it out. So we're gonna come to back. And I was thinking, because it's only 20 seconds, I don't know how crazy this is, but we do clean and press with a row. So single row to clean and press, single row. Just because that's quite effective in getting a bit of everything. There's a bit of deadlift, a bit of row. But I'm gonna go a bit lighter on my weights than I would normally do. So row, and then clean and press, and then row. And then clean and press, and then row. So, obviously you can break this in half. You can just do the deadlift. Break it into thirds. You could just do the row, pause. You could just do the clean and press. So there's a chance to, you know, make it less. Let's go. I just wanted to think about the cardio side of things. So lighter weights, more reps, continual movement. Yes, you can do it with heavier weights, but we want that speed, that breathiness, that puff. Okay, last one. And pause. Oh yeah. Three, two, one, and go. So row to clean and press. Just really think about isolating in the upper back. And last one. Okay, take a break. And let's go. So, woke out in the rain today. No thunder and lightning that I've seen. So no storm. But I don't know if it's set to be like this all day. Or if the sun's gonna make an appearance. Pause. But, and let's go. Oh. Yeah. Although this is the last day of rain on the forecast for two weeks, so we'll see. <laughs> And a pause. Say again. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And again, let's go. I don't mind the rain so much, especially here because it's so needed. And um, plus, you know, the house is supposed to overlook a lake, but the lake has spent year and year drying up. So if we can have some rain and replenish the lake, it gives me my views back. So I don't mind it so much, but. I don't get a lot of it. Pause. Oh. All right, we're going into our last kind of three. I'm going to take my weights up a little bit and just go a little bit heavier. Right, down we go. Go. Oh, that pause. Okay. I need to remember to take a drink at the next interval. Three, two, one, let's go. Oh, that's it again, I can't count. Whew, okay, take a break. Rest between cycles. So we've got arms next. Gonna start with triceps. Excuse me, disappearing. So we're gonna start with triceps. We're gonna come to the floor and we're gonna do 
um, a seated tricep press. So I'm just gonna turn this down, come onto your bottom, just move those oh, fingers facing towards the bum and bend the elbows backwards and push through the arms. Try not to make it about the body. Now, I've got my bum on the ground, but you can lift your bottom off and bend here. But again, you don't want to be, take a break, don't want to be thrusting your pelvis. So just set yourself up for success. Don't go too heavy. You can always stack weights into your waist as well. Bend down and up, bend down and up. So that's important that you get the good movement through the arms rather than overloading and then having that rubbish movement. Elbows going back, not to the side, so we're not flaring them out to the side. So it's not, pause, I can't even do it wrong, but not to the sides, try and have them going back. You've got the arms behind you. Pause and breathe. And ready, let's go. And pause again. Three, two, one. Going again. last set so enjoy this last one let's go she says you haven't got it right the last couple of times so maybe it's not the last one <laughs> maybe I'm telling lies hopefully it is oh ready for a change now four three two and one oh Right, take that stillness and let's hope, yes, all right, so the next exercise is going to be the biceps, so what you can do, obviously if you need to increase your weight, you can do sided, bearing in mind that we do eight sets, we've got two limbs, so therefore you can divide eight by two, or if the weight's <coughs> are light enough you can do them together or if you're like me I'm going to take them between the both hands and it's just a basic bicep curl you can do this standing you can do it sitting you can do it kneeling down I've just inhaled water excuse me <coughs> sorry that's what you get for drinking and talking at the same time okay pause that 
So I've turned my grip over, so I'm kind of going to vary this between the ones. So the variation is from underhand grip to reverse grip. So I'm just uh, going to alternate a little bit. Good. And pause, and then taking the traditional grip, underhand grip, and just holding there, trying to be stillish around the X, you know, the, the areas that you're moving. Let's go. Just go side on so you can see elbows are gripped in, and I'm just flexing, extending the elbow, letting the weights go down till the arm is straight, and then curling it all the way up to the top, pause, and change the grip over. So it's like holding a bicycle handle, motorbike, just pause in here. And exactly the same thing, grip the body with the upper arms. Try not to roll the wrist. You see how this kind of, I always think it's like a pony at the top. Um, so strong, straight wrists. So your arm goes all the way up to the knuckle. Three two, one, and pause, oh. hey. of course when we work the triceps, when we work the chest, we would have included biceps as well, let's go, oh I forgot to change my grip, silly me, turn it underhand, um, so these will feel it possibly sooner than you would have expected, just because they've been involved already, so they've had a bit of work, And pause, change the grip, remember this time. And let's go. Strong wrists, again, just come back to form. Just because we're wrapping out, just because we're doing things at speed, doesn't mean we should let go of form. Because when we let go of form, this is when we leave ourselves open to the possibility of injury. So. Drop those weights, pause, make it less challenging, and um, change the grip, <laughs> uh, and keep keep safe. All right, let's go. So, if my counting is correct, this is the last one of this hold, and then we'll turn it over, and then that one should be the last one of that hold. So, penultimate one here. Um, and pause, turn it over, and we should be finishing on the reverse grip. Three, two, one, let's go. So, no stunning sunrise today, it's just a lightning of cloud from black to white. <laughs> uh, hopefully. Yeah, let it go. I think the camera is, um, yeah, is more generous than it actually is. So that's nice that it looks good. Let's just turn the hands around, point the fingers towards the knees and just stretch out here. Hopefully you can see that. All right. So we've done legs. We've done chest, we've done back, we've done biceps, we've done triceps. So we've got some calves to do. Oh, so come on up. We're going to roll through the feet, lifting up and down. So you can have weights in your hand if you want to. If it's a bit more about balance for you, just concentrate on that. So just rolling through the feet. Lifting the heels off the ground, keeping it going. And pause. Just move these, just hopefully it's a better view. Okay. And let's go again. So you can turn the feet out into that little like ballet first position. Roll them that way. I'm going to keep with the parallel feet and of course you can hold weights pause please um, 
just do what feels good for you, of course. <sighs> bit of a roll up and down, bit of a kind of active recovery, this one. So <clears throat> it doesn't feel like, you know, sweat, I can feel the sweat coming up on me from the other ones. But these now <sighs> not challenging in the same way. And pause. Okay, let's go. Oops, falling off that one. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that as a little interlude and pause, and then we're gonna take it to lunges. So come up the top of your mat. We're gonna do alternating reverse lunges, or you can do alternating um, forward lunges, I can't balance. Um, so just taking it however you feel oops, that you can, just because those calves not really challenging us. Okay, pause that. <sighs> Sorry if I keep disappearing off the screen. I've not set up cameras particularly well today. All right, let's go. It's always difficult when I'm going up and down floor and standing to get it exactly right. And pause. What I'll try and do is do these side on so you've got a look at the leg. Ooh. All right, let's go. Pause. Okay, good job. All right, just take a moment. So we're going to do shoulders next. Um, excuse me a second. Remembering not to talk with water in my mouth. I want to do overhead press because this one's going to be the most challenging one. You can do them together. You can do one at a time. So this is the hardest, this is the easiest, and then this is the interim, okay? So see how it goes. They are gonna definitely be too heavy. So start off maybe with the hardest ones, see how you go, and do it as kind of a drop set. Pause and just see how you are. And again, overhead press. And pause. Okay, so that's two, got six to go. So alternating if you need to, singles if you need to. I'm gonna try and push to four on the doubles. So let's go again. Oh, it's just very disconcerting because I can hear my shoulder crunching and I know it's fine. I know it's from historical damage, but it just sounds really weird in my ear. Crunch in there and pause. Yeah, 
I used to love overhead press when I used to gym sort of seven days a week, sometimes twice on Sundays. And again, I used to do these a lot. My favorite exercise on the shoulders, but I just love training shoulders any which way. And pause. Okay, that is four on the overhead press, so still feeling okay. I'm gonna try, sorry, on the double overhead press, gonna try again. Let's see how it feels for five. I can feel my body starting to tire. So next time we okay, take a break. I'm gonna do the alternating and see how that feels. Three, two, one, let's go. So this just brings in that microbe, micro, micro break as the arm stays down as the other one goes up. So pause okay so we'll try that again you can stay with double overhead listen to your body listen to how you're feeling and let's go For the last one, I'm just going to take it to those single arm presses, just so we've had a little look at everything as well. So one up, one up. So it goes all the way up and comes all the way down before the other arm moves. So the other arm is getting twice as long as a rest as it was with the alternating, because this is just getting a little bit. So nice and steady, really finish off those shoulders. All right, let it go. Nice job. Pop them to one side. So we're going to do abs next. Just a little stretch the shoulders. So I'm not going to do any weights for abs. Um, there's always a bit of a dilemma with abs when you use weights on account of the fact that we don't want to build muscle at the waist really. Um, most people want their waists to go in. Um, and when we use weights, we've got the possibility of building muscle. So we're just going to do a little crunch. Come on down. Just keep it moving. And just crunch. Keep looking up towards the ceiling or the sky. Don't pull on the neck. Just a little crunch. And pause. So we're going to do four where we're crunching here and then we're going to flip it over and we're going to do four back extensions where we're lengthening to make a nice balance, okay? Let's go crunch. Go. And pause. All right, one more set like this. Three, two, one, and pause. 
All right, so we're going to turn over, lay yourself along. I'm just going to take my mat around. I'm going to do a dorsal raise. Off you go. Faffin. You can do it with the hands down or with the hands up. You can do alternating. If that's no good for you, do legs coming up, keep the body down. So there's options galore. Okay, take a pause. I'm just gonna <clears throat> sort myself out. And then get ready for set number two. And go again. So it's worth just explaining, I'm not pushing against the floor, pause. I am lifting, but I'm just using the ground for support because of my back injury. But um, yeah, you're not pushing because you're not looking for stretch. So you're not pushing, let's go. Again, you're just lifting and lowering. So it's all through the body. Just not bringing my arms up, but I'm not pushing against the ground. If you think you are pushing, just turn the palms up, just take, a little bit of possibility away and pause I think we've got one more but yeah we might be no we're not Take a stretch back. Oh, let's take it back onto your knees and take a stretch. All right. So we're just going to take a little bit of a stretch here now. So step one foot forwards. Take a strap into the strap. Step and stretch. That was strap into the groin. Into psoas. And then pull it back. Hamstrings. Okay, if you can, rest into that hand, pick that foot up off the floor, lean in and take a quad stretch. Okay, relax that down, take one arm across, shoulders, take that same arm up and over, tricep. Bring that hand down, include the thumb, pull back or you can take it onto the floor. Take the arms behind, stretch out the chest. And take the hands in front, stretch out the upper back. And release that off. Step that other foot forwards, please. And stretch out into that groin. Pull back to hamstrings. Tongue to this side. Lean down into that hand, pick that foot up, quads, and then release, <clears throat> shoulder stretch comes across, up and over, and then hold that hand out in front again, think about the thumb, obviously if you're kneeling, you can take both of them on the floor, that's fine. Take those arms around in front, stretch out the upper back. And then take them around behind, stretch out the chest. All right, we're gonna tip it up and over. Come up to a forward fold. And roll up to standing. All right, cross one foot in front of the other. And then same arm as the leg that's gone forward, stretch out through the side of the body. And then change sides. So leaning into that foot we caused support. Lovely. And release that off. Take a big breath in. Raise up and release. And again, breathe in. 
and out. Breathe the charm, breathe in, stretch away. And we've got those beautiful immortal activity completed. We are done. Give yourself a nice round of applause. <laughs>